Hello, good day guys. Welcome back to my channel. So today, uh, yung itatapik naman natin yung we discuss is related to engineering and structural engineering uh, tool or topic. And this is all about the column resisting uh, actual load. So bali pure axial lang yung load na i-resist ng column na to. Using sa Excel natin, the BBA macro uh, programming language. And without further ado, let's open the tool. Then, as you can see, uh, right click lang natin, then open or pwede rin double click. Then, ito yung makikita ninyo. Once mag-open yung uh, Excel. Then, by the way, uh, kailangan ninyo naka-activate yung macro ninyo. Then, pan mag-activate, just click lang yung file. Then, option. Tapos, yung trust. Ito, yung trust center. Dapat, naka-trust in yung na yun? macro settings. Then, i-click ninyo yung trust access the BBA project. Well, then, enable ninyo yung lahat ng macro. Okay? Then, uh, after that, pag all set na, just click the icon of the Pobring en Engineer uh, YouTube channel of our logo. Click lang ninyo, ito yung makikita ninyong interface. So, as you can see, uh, sa interface natin, mayroong PO, this is the maximum actual load. Then, A' prime is the compressive strength of the concrete. FY is the... Uh, the tensile strength of the steel or this is the yield yield strength of the steel the b is the uh, width of column d is the depth of column then ito yung rebar size naman then n is the number or the quantity of the rebar then and the result uh, we have the ratio of the pu over the pu capacity then of course it's check natin yung uh, percentage ng rebar to concrete. Okay? So, mag sample tayo. For example, uh, we have uh, 1,200 kN uh, actual load. Tapos, yung compressive strength natin is, of course, yung pinaka-common that is 20.7 or yung iba is 20 megapascal lang yung inalagay. Then, the 415 MPa or the grid 60 or yung iba is uh, for 14 or for 13, ganyan. Then, let's say yung size natin is about 200, 250 by 250, which is the square column. or Okay. Then, uh, let's say, let's try 16mm na rebar. Then, of course, sabi natin apat. Okay. Then, let's just click uh, after the inputting the data. Just click the bot calculate button to see the result. Then as you can see, may result tayo. Yung capacity ng PU over the PU capacity, I mean the ratio of the PU, the given PU over the PU capacity of the uh, of the section, is not okay, sabi niya. Kasi umabot siya ng 1.5. Kasi it must be uh, less than or equal sa 1.0 yung ratio natin. Uh, Nag-indicate yan na mas malaki yung PU given natin compare sa capacity ng section na to. Okay? Pero as you can see sa ratio ng rebar natin to the uh, gross section of the column uh, section, column section, okay siya. Kasi as per the code that is uh, ranges from 0.01 up to 0.08 or 1% up to 8% pag sa column natin. So, ngayon, uh, we need to increase the sizing of the section of the column. Let's say 300. Not okay pa rin, pero as you can see, uh, lumit na siya to 1.127. Let's say 350, 350. So, okay siya na. Nag-okay na siya. 
So it is 0.867 or 86.7%, which is less than so 100% capacity. Okay, siya. Pero, as per code, bumagsak naman tayo dito sa uh, region ng rebar 2 uh, area of the section ng column. So, ibig sabihin, nag-list din siya sa 0.01 or the 1%. Then, we need to increase the number or the quantity of the rebar or pwede rin yung size. So, for now, uh, we need to add additional quantity of the rebar. Let's say 8. Then, as you can see, pasado na siya sa as per code. Then, yung capacity naman, lumiit pa. So, ibig sabihin, lumaki pa yung factor of safety natin. So, therefore, kapag pure axial load lang, uh, yung 1,200 kN mo na axial load with this section is kaya na. So, for this number of rebars, so, pwede pa natin yan, itry yung, ibalik natin yung 300. Kung kaya pa. So, actually, kaya pa yung 300 with this number of rebars. Pero kapag gumamit ka ng 20, pwede pa natin yan i-reduce. As you can see, 0.832 na siya. So, pwede na yan. Siguro mga, try natin 250. Pero, medyo malaki na. Oh. So, hindi na siya kumaya. Pero, when we use the 25mm, possibly yun. Kuma kumaya na siya. 0.88. So, let's say, bawasan natin yun. Pwede rin yan. 250 by 250. Sa anim na 25mm na bakal, kaya niya yung 1,200 na actual load lang. So, kapag may moment, ibang usapan na yan. Ibang formula yan mga loads. Okay? Okay, after we calculate the capacity of the section, then of course, the ratio of the reinforcement bar to the section of the column, we can also check or show the report by clicking this button. As you can see, so, we can export the computation, the summary of the computation by clicking this button report. Okay? Then, this is the preview of the computation and also, we can export it to the PDF. Say, go on. Then, let's wait. Then, open natin yung ito. So, this is in the PDF form na. As you can see. So, pero kung ayaw nyo i-print, just click lang yung report. Then, ito. Nakaprint yun na siya. Okay? Yun lang, guys. Uh, ito pala, guys. Kung sino man may gusto mag-avail nito na na tool natin, just comment below your email ad. Okay? Comment. So, walang comment na email ad, so, hindi siya makakabil. Yun lang. Thank you guys for supporting our channel and of course, uh, malaking tulong kung mag-join kayo sa sa community natin. It's only for, uh, yung pinakaminom is 49 pesos lang monthly. So, hindi na mabigat bot sa bulsa. Then of course, uh, yung mga Members na sa YouTube channel, prioritize natin yan. Priority natin yan. Kapag mag-ask sila ng uh, tool na ito. Okay? Thank you. Ingat lagi tayo sa COVID-19. And of course, uh, palaging sinasabi, tulungan natin natin yung mga kababay natin na salanta ng baging ulit. And of course, uh, maliban pa dyan yung mga nakailangan. Okay? Thank you and God bless.